troublemakers, welcome to the last one of the year. This is the last movie commentary Monday of 2022, which is exciting. We've 52 weeks in a row, we've had a movie commentary Monday every single week, and it's not even just this year. We've gone for like, what's this, the fourth year in a row? We've hit every single Monday. It's a special feat we're accomplishing right now. I gotta be the most reliable 20 year old that's on YouTube, seriously. You know, as I sit here, I, I have two choices. I wanted to watch Cars and I wanted to watch we Wizards of Waverly play, Wizards of Waverly? Waverly? Which one do I want to do? Uh, ew, what was on my fingers? What's that tape? Uh. Oh, it's actually not bad. What's that chocolate from before? Let's do cars. I was actually gonna do wizards, but then I saw cars here and I'm like, that's another one I wanted to do. And I feel like doing this one a little bit more right now. I'm gonna watch cars. This is unexpected. I was gonna do wizards, but uh, I guess that's for next year. Put that along with Star Wars as films I gotta do. It's been, uh, what, like three years since I said I was gonna do the Star Wars saga? <laughs> I hate when that light looks at me. I feel like it's like judging me. I don't, can we talk about this? I don't know people just, are they don't really, they're not really paying attention at this point. But look at the way the lamp looks at you. Like you shouldn't be here. This lamp has murderous vibes. I am lightning. You ready? <laughs> that sound effect, I thought there were cops at the door. Just with the, the way the door clanged, that sound, sounded like a heavy cop fists. Hey. Lightning's ready. Lightning McQueen. Like. <laughs> I come from a NASCAR family, and by that I mean my family, uh, specifically my dad and like my uncles and stuff. They're really into race car drive, and I can tell you, the stadiums don't look like this. <laughs> They're mostly empty. It's a dying sport. Sorry, any NASCAR fans out there. But yeah, the stadium is two packs. Wait, is everyone a car? Is everyone a car in this world? Are cars watching cars drive? I guess humans watch humans play other sports, so <laughs> it's not that far fetched. Yeah, everyone's a car. Why? <laughs> I love Owen Wilson. I'm gonna geek out about Owen Wilson all video. Oh, he's cream filled. PG, I'm PG. What did you think there? That's not me, that's you. That's not me, that's you. One more time though. Ka-chow. 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 <laughs> he's so good. Cars. How do you think they thought of that title for this film? those were his children because they got the same like is that like a uniform dog i have to acclimate to this world they were both like they had the 95 i guess it's like a jersey but they're fangirling so i don't think they're his kids oh what's the plot of this film should i guess is he gonna lose his speed <laughs> he's got a rival oh who's his rival gonna be exciting they're gonna have to tow me out of the I, I, there was something on my fingers before. I can't quite place it. I was kidding about the chocolate, but it's there's something in my mouth and it's not going away. And the winner of this race, Daryl, will win the... I bet 43 is the rival, huh? One more victory in him before retirement. He's been Danico's golden boy for years. We find Chick Hicks. He's <laughs> Chick Hicks. His chance to finally emerge from the king's shadow. But the rookie sensation came into the season unknown. Okay, so the green car... 86 is actually probably the, the villain. The way he was looking around there just was sketchy. He's gonna cause a big accident later. Was 86 the one who was cream filled? Who was cream filled? Oh, j calm down, woman in the crowd. <laughs> Jesus. Trouble! Get through that, McQueen! Oh, he's gonna he's gonna jump him, right? <laughs> <laughs> the queen is in the wreckage. There's no way the rookie can make it through. No. Oh my. He's talented if he can get through all that. Uh, he does jump him. Look at this. <laughs> is he a dog? His kids? Probably not, right? No, no, no tires. Just gas. That's right. No tires again. The McQueen has a huge lead. Gonna crown us a new champion. Uh-oh. <laughs> Things are going too well. <laughs> Children? such an idiot you fool. yeah he's so dumb because the time it takes the reason you change tires while you also gas up is because the time it takes to gas up is the same amount of time it would take to get two tires on or even maybe four tires on depending on how fast your pit crew is holy shit i know too much nascar i hate myself 100 feet from his piston cup. he's not gonna get it it's too early in the movie to to win no right no right and it's 
It's too close to call. My guess is gonna be the uh, the green guy. Because I'm a one-man show. What? Oh, yeah, right. She's got an ego. That was some pretty darn nice racing out there. Fight me! <laughs> <laughs> it's mine, dude. I hope he doesn't... I hope he's not the villain. Because that was the worst insult. Why do they all have mustaches, too? <laughs> In your dreams, Thunder. Thunder, what's he talking about, Thunder? Thunder always comes after lightning. Kapow! <laughs> Who here knew uh, the, the, the You're a winner to me, you old daddy rabbit. Thanks, dear. Wouldn't be nothing without you. No, he can't be a villain. He loves his wife. And all villains hate their wives. <laughs> it's just a known fact. We're like your biggest fans. Good job! I love being me. Are you attracted to them? They look just like you. Well, I guess I, I did one time see a guy who kind of looked like me, and I was like, that's a good-looking dude, so... Yeah, arrest them. Get them out of here. They creep me out a little bit. Yeah. Oh, he wants he wants to be sponsored by the Blues? We have a three-way tie. I break a race between the three leaders in one week. First one to California gets Dynaco. So the blue car is retiring, and the, uh, the sponsors are going to need a new racer. The green and the red guy both want the blue car sponsorship. You got to make your personal appearance. No. No, and I use Rusty's medicated bump ointment. Nothing sues a Rusty bumper like Rusty's. <laughs> rusty bumper. <laughs> Anyone else? Is that just, I feel like I'm the only one laughing. Laugh, Laugh bitch. bitch. That's, that's better. better. He said a Rusty bumper. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> bumper ointment. <laughs> You're laughing? Good. I hate rusty cars. This is not good for my image. I did give you your big break. Oh, so he's grossed out by a bunch of rusty cars. Wait, 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 wait. Are you selling a faulty product? You sell, like, Ruspion or whatever you call it. Is it just bumper ointment? So all their bumpers are... No, their bumpers look bad, too. Shouldn't this rust ointment stop these cars from rusting? If they use the product? Marcy's is a scam? Oh, we love you. Oh, uh, that dramatic scene later when he's gonna inevitably disappoint them and they're just like good-natured people who support him and love him even though he doesn't love him back that scene is gonna hit so hard damn Dynaco, here we come and then he's gonna have the option at the end of the film he can either stick with rusty's or he can go with dinaco and he's gonna choose rusty's oh my god dylan how did you know you must have seen this before <laughs> to break down the garden. i'm trying to think through the logistics of this world shouldn't just everything be road why do you need forests what is a car gonna do in a forest what are they, what are they farming for corn <laughs> for diesel or so i don't know I'm not, what? is this lightning mcqueen the world's fastest racing machine I gotta jump, kid. Let, let me know how it goes. I'm is that Jeremy Piven, aka Ari from Entourage? Really? Really. One of the best television characters ever. <laughs> he was like a psycho, psycho agent. Oh, Mac needs a rest. Absolutely not. I'll stay up with you all night long. <laughs> He's such a dick. I hope a car crashes and everyone dies, including lightning. <laughs> I mean, god damn. There are some movies for kids where adults can really enjoy it, but then there are some gags specifically for kids, and you just feel how for kids it is. <laughs> This car's a girl because it's kind of sexy. Did I just call this car sexy? Oh, Disney. You can't do this to me. Animals? Octopus ladies? Like, there is a level that I think is understandable. But when you turn inanimate objects into sexy things that I want to do things with, we're gonna have a problem. <laughs> How heavy duty is that toy? It's like a little bobblehead. One little bobblehead falling is enough pressure to unlock the back gate. Boy. One should never drive while drowsy. Ah! <laughs> Your branding is on the outside of the truck. Can you not see it? Mac, wait for me! That's not him. Why would you think that's him? Mac! 
Also, you should be struggling to catch up. You're a race car. You have the ability to go like 200 miles an hour. And this truck's going like 65. Mac! Mac! You're not Mac! I ain't no Mac! I'm a Peterbilt for dang sake! He says he's like a Peterbilt. <laughs> oh, this would be so not for me. It's like that that joke is gonna land with like a bunch of people I grew up with. A Peterbilt. Should we look it up? A Peter. Whoa! Wow! My phone just flew out of my hands. Oh no! I just bought that phone. Now it's probably damaged. I should check. Nope, looks like it's in perfect condition. How could that be? Well, that's probably because I use a case to fight case. Today's sponsor. Hi, it's the week before Christmas. I have a flight in a few days and I really just cannot afford to have my phone break. I just, I have too much to do. Nevertheless, I am going to throw my phone. I'm just gonna toss it. Why? Why would I do that? Because I want to show you Case Defy's case. Case Defy, of course, the world's most popular tech accessory brand. And they're the most popular for a reason. Watch. Keep in mind, as I throw this, I'm six foot four. Not really relevant to the demonstration, but I, I, I just wanted you guys to know that. Fun, fun, throw! Just no concern. Does it work? Absolutely. Sorry if my face was cut off there. I, it's just so hard to fit my tall six foot four frame into a single shot. I'm just so tall. This case to fly case with the bumpers on the side here actually has fall protection of up to 21 feet. You can throw this off of a second floor and it'd still be fine. The reason they're the most popular though is because they're also very stylish. They look good. They have over 2,000 prints to choose from. Me personally, I like the clear case. It's very low profile. I don't know if I can explain this. It's, it's probably like the best feeling case I've ever had for a phone. Like just in my hands, it feels really good. A little confession, I actually... <laughs> Man, I used to use uh, uh, like a very cheap, not very high quality case. I don't know if you can see it, it's very yellow. Not a good look. Case Defy takes this into account. They have cases that are optimized to prevent yellowing. So I don't have to worry about that. It's just like, you can tell a lot about a person from three things. From how clean they keep their car inside and out, from how clean they keep their bathroom, and third and finally, what's the condition of their phone? When you pull out your phone and it's got a yellowing case, it's kind of a mood killer. I'll have a discount link in the description box down below. It's gonna be 15% off your order. It's casedefy.com slash Dylan. I wanted them to make it casedefy.com slash six foot four guy, but they just weren't going with that. They were just like, it's easier just to do casedefy.com slash Dylan. Thank you to Casedefy for sponsoring this video. The money's actually going to go to my therapy. Just for all the emotional turmoil the rest of this movie commentary causes me, you'll you'll see. Speaking of the commentary, let's get back to it. Thanks again, Casedefy. The blue blazes, crazy hot runner. Wait, the, the, the insects are cars? Oh, dog, what is this universe? Why? No, 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 no! Ah! <laughs> what the hell? Dog, he's destroying this town. Wayne was reported missing. He's scheduled to race. Ah, oh, no, he's missing. Where he is. Hey, McQueen's next show. Gensai, you can't go. I don't know. Two jobs are coming. I just hope Blackman's okay. What? Wait, what? Where did that come from? That was like a Japanese broadcast. I no idea where he is. Hey, McQueen's next show. Gensai. How is this tied in in any way to anything? Lightning McQueen, our crew chief, who worked with him. The McQueen must be found at all costs. They are all. What are these references? Jay Leno, Arnold Schwartz, the Schwartz. I don't like saying his last name because I I don't think I pronounce it right, and it sounds almost offensive. Morning, sleep and beauty. Ah. <gasps> <laughs> My name's Maynard. 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 That's funny. Ah. Oh. oh, see, when you humanize these these cars, well, what is that a similar feeling to? I feel like that hook going, I feel like going like someone like boop right into your bum, you know? Like, and his expression kind of makes it seem like that's exactly how he was feeling. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> I felt it. Sorry, I'm late, Your Honor. Oh, so she's the love interest. Well, I guess she's like, is she the first female besides the the Japanese newscaster? Not only is she the first female, but she. She's sexy enough to be a female lead. And I hate that I can see a car and be like, yes, this car is sexy and other cars might not be sexy. I, I can make that determination. And I don't know if that says more about me or more about Disney. The fact that they are able to delineate the two for me, you know? She's a town attorney and my fiance. What? You kid. Oh. She just likes me for my body. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That's a good one. I'll give it to the movie. Did you do something different? I don't, your I don't know. I don't find her that sexy. I am the turn. <laughs> I'm sorry. We have to do this. I'm just going to cover this once and then I won't talk about it again. 
until the next time I talk about it. Her proportions just don't sit right with me. Like, there's not enough in the back, right? It was a mistake. It was a mistake to stop and talk about this. Her eyes aren't even that sexy. She's got a sexy mouth, though. Uh, yeah, all right, we're gonna move on, because I can't. I can't. It is our job and our pleasure to take care of the travelers on our stretch of that road. But how, I ask you? Is he gonna restore this town? <laughs> is this a Hallmark Christmas movie? If someone from the big city comes to a small, little, lovable little town and finds the magic in it. <laughs> what do you have at your store? I have gas. A and Flo, what'll happen if no one can come to your station? To I'll go out of business and- Ooh, I'm kinda digging Flo here. <laughs> We'll have to leave town. No, oh, not you, Flo. And what's gonna happen to all of us if Flo leaves town and closes her station? We'll be we'll fucking sad as shit. Don't you think the car responsible should fix our road? Yeah, yeah. I'll kill him. Yeah. Justice for Flo. This here is Bessie. Finest road paving machine ever built. Is Bessie alive? Oh god, I hope not. She's like an ogre. <laughs> I don't know what's human anymore. The insects are cars? I don't know if, if, if this thing is alive. What are machines in this world? <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Radiator Springs. What's gonna bring him back? Not his conscience. What brings him back? Feel that wind. Is that a gas? No, no, no. <laughs> Did you siphoned your gas while you were passed out? To siphon gas, you put a, a hollow tube into the gas tank and then you suck it out. But if your car, what is that sensation of getting sucked or of getting of getting gas sucked from you. I don't know. I I'm, I can't keep translating what it would be like for these cars if they were humans. Because it's really grossing me out. It flew and built up, mate. <laughs> I don't think that you could just pour hot black concrete onto a severely damaged road and it just is fixed. You have to straighten this out, even it out. I, yeah, no, I don't think that, no. No, 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 no. And if you do stay, we offer a free Lincoln Continental breakfast. Do cars eat? We're just trying to find the interstate. I'm being held here against my will and I need you to call my team. You gotta help me. Don't leave me here. I'm in hillbilly hell. <laughs> my IQ's dropping by the second. <laughs> Beat your heart out. <laughs> I can go when this road is done. That's what they done did said. He's done! <laughs> it looks awful. You know, it matches the rest of the town. <laughs> the deal was you fix the road. I'll make it worse. Then why don't we just have a little race? Me and you. If you win, you go and I fix the road. If I win, you do the road. Oh, no, he knows your specialty. Wow, don't agree to this. He's got a trick up his sleeve. I don't like it. Don't trust him. Don't trust him. But I bet Lightning learned something really valuable here that he uses in the final race, huh? My way. Watch. Uh, watch. Doing? Watch, 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 watch. This will be a one lap race. Oh. Oh, Ooh, you like that flow? I can do it too. <laughs> huh? It would seem I'm off to a poor start. Better oh. late than never. Uh -oh. Come on, Mater. <laughs> Might need a little help. There's gonna be a blockage in the road. <laughs> How strong are those plants? Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at this here fancy new road! Uh. Ooh, Ramon. There's no way Lightning McQueen paved that road. He hasn't learned his lesson yet. He can't do things well at this point, you know? Still got a long way to go. Wait, did he do it? Where is he? Wait, wait, wait. Why do they need lightning to do this specifically? Do they not have like someone with the horsepower to pull Bessie or something? Because it seems like they have all the materials. They didn't use lightning's money to pave the road, just his labor. And they don't they don't have anything else to do all day. So could they not have done this themselves? That punk actually did a good job. No, he didn't. Where the heck is he? He ran out of asphalt in the middle of the night. He wants to rerun the track. Oh, he wants to get into the training montage portion, huh? That their turn. No, no, no. Impart your wisdom! Hey, what do you want? You here to gloat? No, he wants to impart his wisdom. If you're going hard enough left, you'll find yourself turning right. Turn right to go left! Yes! What an idiot! And now he's gonna learn the lesson. Turn right to go left. And then he's gonna use it later! Ah! Whoa, whoa, who's touching me? You have a slow leak. Guido, he fixed. Ah! Stop! You missed a spot? Sit ah! right there. Ah! 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 I press space, Disney. That means I want pause. They're hosing him down. He's their prisoner, and they're hosing him down. Isn't that outlawed? You can't just hose down your prisoners. I'm pretty sure that's illegal to do. Thought I'd say thank you for doing a great job. So I thought I'd let you stay with me. Code number one, if you want. I don't know why she just rubs me the wrong way. 
Hey, do I sp She has a tramp stamp? Why? <laughs> what are these decisions? Yeah. Later, I'm not doing this. Oh, come on. <laughs> He's learning all these hillbilly lessons. Wait, tractors are like cows? <laughs> That's a pretty good gag. All right, it was the it was the little tires in front, kind of like grasping for for some traction. I like that part. Oh my god! You put some horror music here, and, and this would be a real nightmare. I'm the world's best backwards driver. <laughs> Is everyone in this town gonna become his pit crew? Cause they were changing his tires before. Is he gonna really love the tires that he's got? Private helicopters and no more rusty old cars. What's wrong with rusty old cars? They're gross. Oh, I don't mean you, Mater. I mean other. Uh, I mean him specifically. Hey, you think maybe one day I can get a ride in one of them helicopters? Yeah, 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 sure, sure. This is nice. Oh. Hey, stickers. Ah. Coming to visit late at night, huh? Booty call, huh? Just, I overheard you talking to Mater. What did, what did you hear? Oh, just something about a helicopter ride. Oh, yeah, yeah, he got a kick out of that, didn't he? Did you mean it? I mean, first things first, I got to get out of here and make the race. You know, Mater trusts you. Yeah, this is a weird booty call. Just get in or get out. <laughs> she can't even booty call anyway. She don't got no booty. What did you just say? You know, thanks for letting me stay here. It's nice to be out of the impale. Wait, 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 wait. What's the phrase? When you start to love your captors? <laughs> Stockholm Syndrome. He's getting Stockholm. <gasps> oh, I thought he had like a traumatic childhood. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you gotta get out. Yeah, he's... I gotta get out of here. <laughs> yeah. hey. hey, what are you oh. doing? I, I just need my daily gas ration from the sheriff. Is the policeman dying? What, yo, what is... Uh, the last, like, two minutes of information has been insane. Time to clean out the garage, buddy. Come on. <laughs> he's got a piston cup. <laughs> he has a piston cup? Yeah, I just said that, bro. He's got two? Three? Three piston cups? You gotta show me your tricks, please. I already tried. Get those trophies. You look. All I see is a bunch of empty cups. Why, oh, you bitter old fart. Yeah, look at my husband, y'all. Whoo, that's your cup. Yeah. You're fucking married? Hey, here I am. Wanted to take you for a ride. <laughs> Come on, let's take a drive. A drive? Don't you big city race cars ever just take a drive? I hate her. I don't know why. You coming or what? He's fully Stockholm. He's been fully Stockholm now. Are they gonna flirt? Oh, they're flirting with car stuff. <laughs> Listen, I've been washing this back. I'm trying to figure out why I don't like this car. And I think it's because she's a witch. Just listen for a second. Just put your ears up, uh huh? <laughs> That is a that's a witch's laugh. That's a that's the laugh of I captured several children in my house with candy. And now I'm gonna cook them in a stew. Old women also laugh like that, so maybe she's just old, but then he's like a rookie race car driver, so I think he's kind of young, so maybe she's just a cougar. But then we got this whole Stockholm thing going on, and I'm pretty sure it's a witch. She's a witch? So I hate her because uh, uh, she kills children, basically. Oh my god. This is where you should have set up your town. Imagine having that in your backyard. Sheesh. Oh, don't give me those eyes. How does a Porsche wind up in a place like this? Pretty simple. I was an attorney in LA, living life in the fast lane. Oh, she's the Hallmark Christmas movie. She's got a big career path in a busy city and happenstance brought her to a small town. She grew quite fond of that small town charm and she just decided to stay. Well, that was my life. And you know what? It never felt happy. <laughs> you need the small town charm. Why didn't you go back? I fell in love. Oh. With Flo? Yep. I get it. Look, and they're driving right by. They don't even know what they're missing. 40 years ago, that interstate down there didn't exist. Nothing you can do. Am I supposed to feel sad for a bunch of cars? Stop with this music. Anymore. All right, stop. No one sees I'm not going to get sad. <laughs> like, it's just not going to happen. How great would it have been to see this place in its heyday? Can't tell you how many times I've dreamed of that. It's kind of nice to slow down every once in a while. You're welcome. Stop. Go away. Thank you. Fix the fucking road and go win the cup and then go party with a bunch of models. All right, let's get to, let's stick to reality here, all right? What are you doing with those old racing tires? I love how this town, which has a population of like eight, 
not only has a hot big city lawyer, but it also has a three-time sport champion. Like, of the eight, like- Ah, <laughs> oh, what a coincidence, huh? Wow, we're amazing. Why is he so pissy? Doc, wait! Oh, he's such a grumpy old fart. I hate him. How could a car like you quit at the top of your game? You think I quit? Here we go with the tragic. <laughs> oh, he's traumatized from an injury. I love how it haunts him. So he framed an article and hung it up in his office. What's the best way to get over your trauma is to remind yourself of that trauma every fucking day of your life. When I finally got put together, I went back expecting a big welcome. You know what they said? Your history moved right on to the next book he's standing in line. Ah, so now he's gonna learn the value of Rusty's. So he's gonna win the race. He's gonna get the offer for the, the sponsorship of the Blue Th Company. And he's gonna turn it down for the loyalty of the company that has sponsored him in his hard times. There's only 36 minutes left. Yeah, this is not what I thought the film was gonna be. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be more about the uh, the racing series, but it's more about uh, the small town growing it back to its uh, to its former glory. We must have finished it while we was all asleep. He's gone. Oh, what's that? You miss him? You miss him? Hug me right next to you, too. It's that race of his. Oh, he's just sad because you left town and went to your big race to win the Piston Cup. Oh, wait a minute! <laughs> I'm not sure these tires can get me all the way to California. Four new tires! <laughs> oh, oh, he's grumpy again. Oh. Well, if you Oh, it's almost like he could be your pit crew. Hey, uh, yeah. I don't think you can cover up your sponsors like that. Lightning McQueen! Wow. <laughs> oh my god, it's so horrible. Just like in his heyday, right? Is that what I think it is? Oh, I, I am going to find out. Hello. Found McQueen! <laughs> McQueen, your prisoner. <laughs> yes. My star client disappears off the face of the earth. How do you think I'm doing? Ah! Oh, he's stepping into his anger agent character. <laughs> okay. So now he's gonna go to the race. This isn't goodbye. It's a two-day work trip. Look, I wish you can come back, bro. Thanks for everything. Ah. Uh... You should go. I know, but good luck in California. Dog. <laughs> I hope you find what you're looking for. <laughs> That's right, kid. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I hate how they make it seem like he's going off planet and he's not going to be able to come back. He's a car. It's like a day's trip. You can come back anytime you want. Thanks for the call. You called them? It's best for everyone, Sally. He was going to leave anyway. No, I don't understand. <laughs> best for everyone? Or best for you? Yeah, you old crinkly bitch. I didn't get to say goodbye to him. Okay, well. You can say goodbye when he leaves next time in two days when he comes back. <laughs> Stop trying to manipulate my emotions. He can come back tomorrow. Do the cars procreate? Oh, they get married. Oh God. What sort of questions am I now asking myself? I almost got to this whole movie never having to think about that. And now it just came to me. Three-way battle for the Piston Cup. There's a crowd of nearly 200,000 cars here at the Los Angeles International Speedway. Would racing really be that popular? of a sport in a world where there's only cars. Cause I feel like this is the equivalent of our track meet or like a, what do you call it? Like a relay race or something uh, track related, right? And we don't really care about that. We care about ball sports. So I'm surprised that this many people care about race car driving. Cause you guys are race cars. You're not even driving. You're just running around track. Be careful out there, okay? Thunder, <laughs> so here's my prediction. I think this guy is going to do something dirty to the blue guy. And the blue guy is well loved. So he's not gonna get the blue sponsorship. So Lightning's gonna win by turning right so hard that he goes left or whatever that plot point was. But he's gonna turn down the blue sponsorship because he wants to be loyal to the people that helped him. And this guy's not gonna get the sponsorship because he's a, a little bitch. I'm ready. Wait, so they added an extra race? Everybody's there? Like all the other drivers? That can't be right. Hey, where you been, McQueen? I've been kind of lonely. Anyway, listen to what the twist. Stop. She's not sexy. You can't do this to me, movie. Look at me, boys! Let's oh yeah, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, so there's no other racers on the track. Well, how interesting is that? <laughs> it's gonna be 300 laps of just three cars going around a track. How boring. 
50 laps down, and the king is still holding us. 50 laps. I was like, maybe they're only gonna do 10 laps or something, but no, they're gonna run all the laps. Doc? Guys, you're here. I can't believe this. There's no way 200,000 people gathered. That's more than you get to go to like the Super Bowl. <laughs> like NFL stadiums. NFL is the big, this is the king of sports in America. Most of those stadiums are like 60 to 70,000 people. 200,000 people came to this to watch three cars go around an otherwise empty track 300 times. There's just no way. It's not happening. I don't care. Can he catch up to them with only 60 laps to go? Only 60 laps to go. What do you think of this? We gotta get him back up there fast. It's time. <laughs> oh, gee. I wonder who's gonna win this race, guys. Oh, bite my nails. I'm so nervous. Arr, 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 arr. There's something on my finger still. Ba -ba 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 Holy shit. Out of the race. Wait, is he turning right so hard he goes left or something? McQueen saved! He's back on the track! Finally, McQueen is gonna win the best income! Come on! Uh oh, uh oh. Oh! Oh my god! I called that shit, didn't I? Wait, what is he gonna do? Is he gonna stop and go tend to him? He's gonna go tend to him? Woo! I won, baby! Wait, <laughs> Lightning didn't win? <laughs> I was so confident. Oh, he's gonna go push him? Push him to second place? I think the king should finish his last race. Oh, that's sweet. That's cute. Couldn't he have gotten first place and then came back around? If the goal was just for him to finish. It doesn't matter if he's finished his third or second, right? So why not finish the race, then come back around and push him? Because then he win. <laughs> Bring out the piston cup. How come the only one celebrating is me? Bring out the confetti. Ow! <laughs> you made us proud, kid. How'd you like to become the new face of Dynaco? <laughs> He's gonna have to pass. Thank you, Mr. Tex, but, but these Rusties guys over there gave me my big break. He's gonna turn down this company he likes? Who can say that coming? You think it's about the time we redecorate? Hmm? Hi. Lightning McQueen told me this was the best place in the world to get tires. Who that? How are you? Wasn't it that Lightning didn't have friends? Now he's sending his friends that we've never met and we never saw him make into the town to go get new tires? Oh, uh, okay. Just passing through? Actually, I thought I'd stop and stay a while. <laughs> McQueen and Sally! Thank you. I almost saw two cars kiss. And I don't know that I was personally ready to understand my own feelings about what I was seeing. Good job! <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Lightning McQueen and his best friend Mater compete in the World Grand Prix. The road is filled with hilarious surprises, especially when Mater gets caught up in an adventure of international espionage. Oh, ho, ho, the hijinks. You are a sad, strange little wagon. Farewell. Oh, yeah, well, good. Jesus. He <laughs> carified the entire Disney universe. <laughs> Not this light again. Don't look at me. Don't do it. Don't. What did I do? That'll round out this year of commentaries. We got a brand new year coming up next year. Maybe I'll finally do Star Wars. <laughs> Listen, I appreciate you guys watching. These videos just continue to do better and better. Like you guys just don't get sick of them. I don't really get sick of making them. Someday, maybe, eventually, I'll be like, okay, it's that's enough. <laughs> but I feel like I got a little while till uh, till I hit that point, and then we'll we'll do something different. But don't forget to check out Case Defy, some really solid cases, genuinely like top of the market. This is the case I use. So thank you, and I'll see you next time. Puddles.